does it go into do you sometimes wonder you know if you should be learning more of the process that you're trying to accomplish right something you're trying to accomplish right sometimes you might be thinking i gotta learn everything in the first step i gotta become a master versus learning everything but not the details so that's what we're going to talk about in a second but my name is jean serge i want to help you create digital courses so you can live your life on your terms and so the reason i bring this up is because i actually put together a challenge a five-day challenge on how to create your first course right so i mean if you've been around the online marketing world course creation world any of that you know that it's pretty much impossible to create you know a quality course in five days it's not it's just not something that you can do because there's so much to do in a course if you want to have a really high quality course you know you want to have modules you want to have everything set up right it takes a lot more than five days but if you want to learn the process of course creation right from from the inception from figuring out what you wanted the course to be about to who your audience is to you know recording a, a few of the lessons to uploading that to putting that on the platform to to uh, figuring out what you want to put on the landing page to to promoting it and getting people to actually get your course and look at your course and maybe even you know get to the point where you make a few sales right if you want to learn all those steps you you can't learn that in detail in five days but you can learn the basics of it and that's what i promote or what i suggest you do right i suggest that you can learn an entire process relatively quickly and why do you want to do that, right? Why do you want to learn a process and not become good at each of the steps and just go to the next step, right? Why would you want to do that? Why would that be valuable? Well, like I said, I'm not saying this is the only way to do things. I'm not saying that there's not success in being detailed and learning every single thing, right? In perfect quality, perfect details. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that that's the way that I see things. That's the way that I suggest you do things. And why do I suggest that? Well, for me anyways, when I first learn something, there's always there's always something I well, in the process you don't know. You don't know how let's say it's a 10-step process, right? To to do anything. Well, if you don't know what step number seven eight nine involved then maybe once you learn that once you know what's involved there maybe you're going to change what you do in step two in step one and step three right maybe maybe you're going to change and for me the benefit of knowing what the end goal is because that's one of the things i do too right i i start with the end in mind right so whenever i think about what it is that I'm trying to accomplish, it's like, okay, what is the end result I want, right? In this case is I want a course that sells. I want something that people will be interested in. I want something that they're gonna learn from, right? So I want that, and that's why I'm doing, say, a course, or why you'd be doing a course, right? So when you want, and when you know what the end goal is, learning all the steps helps you to fine-tune each of the steps as you go right so each of the steps down the line as you're learning will change as you learn the last steps and but you know that's just how I do things I like to know the process I like to know what is involved from A to Z before I start on the journey sometimes you start on the journey without knowing the steps and that's how you learn right and I I that's just how I like to do it. So I don't know about you, but if you know how to do, how, you know, what is involved, not necessarily the details, maybe you don't know exactly how you're going to grow your audience or exactly how you're going to attract people to buy your course or exactly how you're going to do ads or exactly how any of that works, right? But knowing that you should be potentially putting ads together might help you to, to to decide what image to use in your course uh, you know header right that might change knowing that it's a good idea to have an email list might change 
that you put a bit of time in, say, a capture page because you're going to need that for your email list. And things like that change as you learn the process. And the details come later. Once you know the process, because that's, let's face it, the other thing too is that the process can be different depending on your target market, depending on your preferences, depending on your experience. But the end goal is going to be the same, right? You're going to sell some courses. We've got a little vacuum cleaner going on here. Is that vacuuming up the streets? Look at that. There she goes. She's cleaning up the, the streets with the vacuum. Anyway, so, yeah, depending on that. So that's the thing. And then you know what details you need to focus on, what specifics you need to learn. And you can, I don't know, get coaching or look it up online or find somebody who can help you with that specific thing or whatever right so learn the full process first all right so hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you think anybody needs to hear this message then please go ahead and share i'd really appreciate it and like i said go ahead and join that challenge it's still still ongoing and you can always catch up just click the link in the description to get on the challenge to create your very first course in five days all right have yourself a great day we'll talk to you soon